Hello students, welcome back to Clary Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we are going to solve several numerical examples of the topic called Venturimeter. And if you have not viewed my previous lecture where I have explained you how does Venturimeter use, is useful to calculate the flow rate and what is the final form of equation that you can be that you can use to calculate the flow rate, then please do visit that lecture first and then come back over here. Okay. Fine. So let us start with the first numerical. I have an oil of specific gravity 0.8 is flowing through a venturimeter having inlet diameter. Just a minute, let me just take the pen tool. Okay. An oil of specific gravity 0.8 is flowing through a venturimeter having the inlet diameter as 20 centimeter and throat diameter as 10 centimeter. So I have in your venturimeter, throat diameter is 10 centimeter and inlet is let's say uh, 20. So I will put this D1 and D2. Let's say this D1 and D2. So, I will say given data, given data, specific gravity of oil, of, that, is, that is the fluid is 0.8. That means what? Density of oil will be what? It will be 0 0.8 into 1000. Yes, that will be 0, 0, 0.800 kg per meter cube. The, and they, they say that the venturimeter has inlet diameter that is D1. D1 is 20 centimeters. So, you convert that into meter, you will get 0 0.2 meters because we will always use the values in meters, okay, because of SI unit. And D2 is 10 centimeter, which is 0 0.1 meter. The oil mercury differential manometer shows a reading of 25 centimeters. So, that means what? They also have the mercury column, I mean, mercury as a manometric fluid. And uh, you can say the density of mercury will be 13600 kg.